Hey everyone, welcome back to part three of our video series, Denistifying the NIST Cybersecurity Framework, where we're walking through the ins and outs of each function of the NIST Cybersecurity Framework and showing you how it is so helpful in a modern cybersecurity stack. In this video, it's time to dive into what I would argue is the most important NIST function, Detect. Cybersecurity can feel like an endless game of whack-a-mole. Despite your best efforts in shoring up your protection capabilities, hackers will find a way through. And when they do, you need to be ready for it. This is the crux of the detect function. Detect focuses on the critical ability to be able to find and seek out anomalies or suspicious activity. Because the faster a cyber threat is detected, the faster you'll be able to spring into action. It's all about timely discovery and making sure that you have the right tools in place to know when something looks a little shady. I would define detection as the alarm that goes off when someone, hey, opens the door when they shouldn't or breaks through the window. It is so important that you have monitoring or auditing solutions set up so you aren't literally sleeping on the job when something goes wrong. Oftentimes that means having continuous monitoring solutions like an EDR or NDR, XDR, or all those buzzwords and acronyms, but it is truly important. This also means having visibility and telemetry. That boils down to logging. You need to be able to analyze network activity, user behavior, odd and suspicious process activity, all of it. But you can't just collect this data and let it sit. You have to look through it. And that is the action and activity of threat hunting. Now this is super duper important because this is where you get to be active in your doing defense. This is where you can go beyond the dashboard and you can actively seek out threats or malware in the environment, your indicators of compromise, and you aren't just sitting with your feet on the dashboard waiting for alerts and badness to happen. You are hunting for it and being proactive. This is where you can get into the real heartbeat of cybersecurity. Say you were able to determine that a single host was infected with a remote access trojan. You were able to uncover that information and then go respond and remediate that host as quickly as possible before it spread to others. If you hadn't caught that, imagine it flew under the radar, spread to all the other hosts in the environment and lurked there. It could remain dormant in your environment for weeks, months, even years, unless you seek it out and detect it. Threat hunting and detection gives you proof and definitive certainty that there was a malicious activity and now you can eradicate it. Being able to rapidly detect and verify threats can make all the difference in a real cyber attack and that is why this function is so critical. The next critical step is making sure you're able to respond as quickly and effectively as possible. We'll cover everything that you need to know about the respond function in the next video. Stay tuned.